Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Today we're going to take an 8865 and actually open it up and see what's inside. Now this unit is dead, it wasn't working, and it was in the, uh, the junk pile, so I really don't feel bad about taking it apart, but uh, you know, probably goes without saying that if you take yours apart, you're going to void the warranty and all the replacement stuff and that type of thing. So anyway, uh, hopefully this captures it and you don't have to you know, feel the need to do that if you wanted to know what's inside. Uh, anyhow, let's dive into it, check it out, start ta taking this thing apart, see what we got inside. Alright, first of all, let's remove everything that's not screwed fast. So we want to take this uh, magnetic cover off the front. You can see it has magnets on the back there. Uh, we'll set that aside. You'll notice there are a few specialized uh, screws here. So I'll have to go downstairs and get the uh, specialized bits to get those out. But we can actually flip the unit over take off the stand and uh, there are a few standard issue screws in in these holes so we can start there uh, probably gonna make sense to remove the cord so that it's not in the way and set as well uh, yeah let's start here there are also screws up in the uh, the holder here for the phone and there's screws underneath these uh, stickers as well so we're gonna have to peel those off as it turns out, these are not screws. They are actually mounting holes of some type, probably for a wall mount kit. As you can see, a little difficult to get that off without, you know, causing a little scuffing and so forth. So, uh, nothing else needed there. Let's keep going with the with uh, with these screws. All right, with all the screws out, you can start taking the plastic apart here. This is pretty, fits pretty well, so it's a little difficult. Uh, I'm gonna pop out these covers here as well so they don't go flying when we get to them. If we work the way, work out around here, and kind of get the uh, components to start showing themselves. It seems like there's something still holding here. Uh, there is a Phillips screw in the center of the display, so we'll take that out. Uh, at this point, we can kind of see that the rest of the face is not going to come off until we remove these specialized screws. So I'll get the bits for that, we'll take that off, and we'll keep going from there. Uh, the bit is a star bit with a hole in the center to match the actual security screw. If you're interested in anything like this, I actually have a link in the video description. You're welcome to check them out. Uh, let's take this thing apart. With these screws removed, now let's try again to split the system open. go there are some snaps as well that you have to overcome when taking these apart as you can see there is the back of the system the controls uh, or the the circuits you know pretty relatively complex we have the ports ethernet ports as well as the RJ ports for audio and so forth. Here's a USB port from the back of the unit. There's also a USB port on the side. This is where our module attaches for uh, key expansion. There are screws holding each of these circuit boards in place. Uh, so let's, uh, let's actually go ahead and take that apart as well. And I think what I'm going to do is also pull this off. This looks to be the speaker module. See if we can't pull that off and see what's behind it as well. Here we go. All right, so there's not much going on here, just the uh, speaker for audio. Uh, we can put this cover out of the way. Let's take the bottom circuit board off first. So we're gonna wanna remove any wires that are in the way. Uh, there's also these clip clips here to clip the ribbon cables. 
kind of move those up and then we're able to pull the ribbon cable out without causing too much damage. In this case there's a little tab that flips up so that the ribbon cable can be removed like so. Now with the screwdriver we will remove the fasteners that hold the circuit board down. After removing the screws, we should be able to pull the circuit board off of the body of the phone. Look for any last minute screws that may have been hidden, in this case by the ribbon cable there. This is the, the back of the phone's main circuit board. The front has the buttons, so the controls, the keys, and so forth. These are kind of like a rubber uh, piece that lay over. Uh, this is that way you, you you know keep dirt from getting in the phone. This is actually held on by um, by the way it's fastened in the phone. So when you take it off, you can see the pads here that when these when the buttons are pressed, connectivity goes uh, and from the back of the button across these different pads and actually causes you know the circuit to be completed and the keystrokes are registered. Next let's take the circuit board off that uh, is up against the display. There's a couple different things uh, going on on here as well. I see a, uh, a Broadcom chip on there and a couple other chips that are are important to uh, to this effect. Now this system actually is the 8865 so it has wireless as well. You can see here is a uh, I would presume an antenna cable comes over to the side. Looks like there might be a little antenna in this area. So uh, anyway let's take off the rest of the cables that attach this. This one has the uh, ribbon cable I would presume for the display. So we'll pull that out and remove the ribbon cable. Likewise, let's remove the cable for the wireless. And now, let's take the board off of the chassis of the phone. Because the 8865 is camera enabled, uh, we actually have to remove the ribbon cable for the camera as well. And it even has a little pull tab to make it easier to remove, which broke off. <laughs> Take out the final screws and the circuit board will remove. So here's the back of the circuit board, the, the back of the phone, the part we saw when we removed the cover. If we flip it over, there's not a whole lot going on here. There's uh, more buttons. These are the soft keys and you see if you remove them they also have uh, you know different pads there where the button is pressed, the circuit is completed. So not a whole lot to see on the back of this board. Let's set this off to the side for now. soft keys come out pretty much the same thing that rubber retainer and then the buttons uh, you know press in where they then make contact with the circuit board there's another layer here and that is the display so there's actually a plastic panel that holds it in if we remove all the buttons uh, we can then get to the screws for this panel let's go ahead and remove that next Once you have the screws removed, the display will come out of the chassis uh, or of the phone you know, body itself. Uh, you can see the ribbon cable to the display on the back, some circuitry, and on the front, the display. So last but not least, if we take a look at the, the remaining body that we have here, you can see the uh, plastic webbing to give this piece some structure. Now this, the bottom in particular is pretty strong, right? Pretty, it does flex a little bit, uh, but did have a lot more rigidity obviously when it was together. The upper part, uh, a little bit more flexible, but still pretty solid. So this keeps the phone in, um, you know, keeps the shape of the phone and prevents it from flexing or doing anything odd when it's sitting on your desk in uh, normal use, likewise in shipping and so forth. 
Uh, so that's pretty much it. Really the last thing to do, if we really want to, is to remove the camera. So there's the camera. You can see it's gold contact uh, ribbon cable there. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me lay all this stuff out and I'll show you everything that came apart from the, the unit and go from there. Alright, so here you can see the entire phone disassembled. We have the main circuit board that has all the connectors on it. There's the circuit board that um, you know, was in the upper half of the phone. Um, has the you know it's kind of the backing to the display. This also has the wireless circuits on it. We have the buttons, the you know the rubber button panel that was actually embedded in the back of the body of the phone, obviously. The display, kind of a unique uh, discrete piece there. Um, we have a handful of screws that held it all together. Uh, the camera, again this was an 8865 so it is camera enabled, 720p camera. And a, uh, you know, a couple more buttons and, and accessories, a little headphone jack that was unwired, uh, and some rubber pieces to keep it all, you know, firmly held together. So uh, anyway, hopefully that's been uh, informative. Uh, hopefully that's satisfied your need to know what the heck is inside of these phones. And uh, of course, if you have questions, comments, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.